Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Ramblecraft. We are back on the server and I want to check out my shop because I believe we have made some profit. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have definitely sold out on our netherite ingots and also a huge chunk of our glowing sack has been sold and a single shulker box has been sold as well. None of our blocks here have been sold, but I'm okay with that because in today's episode I want to make a few changes to the marketplace and what I'm selling. Why is there a chest in the middle of... Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. I asked if anyone had any moss and flowering azalea or azalea in general and Endavar has provided. Thank you very much, Endavar. This will be useful for today's episode specifically. I assume the chest is included. <laughs> In the last episode, we built this road all the way up here towards Kid's base right here. And I stopped it right here. And he has given green light that I can basically continue it all the way over to his base. So I want to do that, but I also need to connect up the mine, the nether portal, and I also want to connect up end of us path which is right over here to the path leading down this way now the trees right here are gone so the yeah it's a little bit blank here but that will be fixed because today i also want to decorate the path but first let us finish up the roads that needs finishing and yeah we're gonna jump straight into a time lapse and get this ball rolling we have a lot to do in this episode Okay, I think I am pretty happy with this. So each point of interest now has their own style of path. And then the path leading to Endavar, which can I just point out, does this man need any more beacons? Is <laughs> three, six, and then five back there. So that's 11 beacons currently active. And I'm pretty sure he said he had like 22 extra in his ender chest or something like that. So he, he has half a stack of beacons. I have one. I'm not sure what to say about this. But yeah, anyway, this path leads on over to Endavar's path. We need to figure out some way of connecting them. And I chose this simple path because I think it works. In all other paths, I haven't gone in any 90 degree, na degree angles. But in this one, I decided to do it mainly because it, it would have gone up like this, which is a nightmare. So I did it like this. And honestly, after doing it like that, I don't know whether or not I should have different path designs going to different things or if they should all be one type of path. I want you guys' opinions on that down below in the comments. Should all the paths leading out from the main path be the same style or should it be different depending on what it leads to? Now the two paths that I have not made yet is A to the storage area and B I haven't continued this path all the way over to Kit's base. I think I'll probably do that in a live stream in between this episode and the next. But now I want to improve the look of the place because right now it, it's kind of bland. We, we just have grass. I want to fill out the emptiness with trees and bushes and lights and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and we of course have the tree that British Widow made, um, which no hate, but I want a different style of tree. All right, the first place I want to improve, well, in improve quote unquote because this already adds a lot to it i want to add some trees and some bushiness to this place and yeah the spruce tree i'm sorry but it gotta go so my thought process of doing this is basically it's going to be something like this just placing an assailant tree down and for each tree i will want to have some sort of lighting so maybe a chain on this one and a lantern sticking like that so illuminating the area a bit and then bone mealing the area around it something like that and that already has made a huge improvement i might make some changes to the trees if i don't like the shape of them but yeah something like this yeah i like that and that has already made a huge improvement i'm gonna add i'm not gonna add anything up there because i want to expand the nether area i think <laughs> this shadow is from end of our ship <laughs> And the vast ship is literally blocking out the sun. 
That is amazing. With that said though, I think I want to change the terrain a little bit and then add a tree and well, I think I'm gonna need some lighting because every, every time the sun passes, an eclipse happens. <laughs> what I think I'm gonna add down here, however, is a little bit of a potted bush. Actually, instead of the composer, I'm going to use the shroom light in the middle, which is going to illuminate the area and bushes going up like that. And then some greenery around it, of course. Don't want any tall grass like that. Can add a bone meal back here. And anywhere where there's nut trees, I think I will want to add bone meal around the path like so, but no tall grass. Yeah, that is adding a lot to it, actually. I don't want to add too much because too much can ruin it. But yeah, I like where this is going. Look at that. We have only just added a few trees and a potted plant and the view for this has already gone up, but I can tell that I need a tree right down here. So I think that is actually the process I'm going to do with this. Yep, perfect. Now in places like here, I obviously have plans for stuff. I'm planning on putting some farmlands here, but I still need to design it because I do have a plan of potentially involving villagers so the farms are actually producing things. But that will be for a later date, so I won't add anything here because there will actually be two structures here. And here I'm planning a path up to like a wizard tower, so I'm not gonna do too much about this specific area. And I feel like that is something that is extremely hard to time left, so I'm just gonna do it. And then, actually, I'm gonna snap my fingers. I'm gonna stand right here looking at that specific lantern right over there in the mine. And I'll be right back when this place has been transformed. Let's go. And boom. Okay, I think this has made a significant improvement to the place. Now, this is just from above, but when you walk through the the paths and the... I, I don't want to say street, but it's not really a street. It has really changed things up. Like before, there would not be any trees or any greenery. It would just be flat. Now there's so much greenery and flowers as you're walking down the path. Now I didn't make a temporary path just up to the storage yet. I'm not sure how I want to do this, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably do this path on a stream or something. Now, of course, I haven't done anything over here in this direction just yet. I need to clear up these and I need to figure out what I want to do if I want to do anything on this road right here, which I think I do, but I don't think I want it as the same theme as that. But for now, this has been a huge improvement. And of course, we should experience this fully during the night because that is where all the light from the potted plants and the trees are coming out. Yep, I absolutely am in love with this. Look at this, I love it. I'm really happy that I added those trees. If you didn't notice, I added a bush and a tree up there as well as there, and I think it really adds something to the story house, storage house as well. It's not... Yeah, it's not as bland as it was before. So overall, I would say a very successful project. Now, the marketplace. This is where we will be doing a little bit of work next because I want to close some things and I want to move some things around. Primarily the rocky bottom. Firstly, I'm not selling a whole lot from this place. Second, we have a project at spawn that we want to be working on. And in relation to that, I am going to move some of these things. Um, I still want to be selling my shulker boxes. I still want to be selling the exotic items over here. But what I'm actually going to do, I think, since both of these two booths right here are empty, I'm going to move these things out into each of their own separate shop. So that would mean, for example, all the amethyst related stuff, they can go into there and then the glowing sack can go into there and then the netherite can stay here, for example. And I think I might want to change the wool lock so it matches as well, I'm not sure. So I suppose first things first is I need a bunch of, well, shulker boxes. Uh, sorry people, we're sold out <laughs> temporarily here. And I'm gonna place these and I'm just going to, um, well, empty all this. This place has now been emptied. The rocky bottom has literally hit rock bottom. I don't care if anyone thinks that's a bad joke or a bad shop name. I'm sticking to it. Isn't it called sticking with it? I don't know. Maybe I'm the one that hit rock bottom. <laughs> one could say that I have definitely hit rock bottom because I'm now at the bottom of the rock. Eh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. And that is the items transferred from the shulker boxes. We are good. Why do I keep finding random things I haven't cleaned up? 
I just found this chest, which is from when I did the interior of the house. <laughs> Why? I had... Okay, I need a cleaning day or something. Alright, shulker boxes are now back in stock. Another change I'm also going to do to this place is I'm going to remove this bit right here so we can actually... So people can actually properly get inside to the shop itself. So really all I need to do is pop these out, move them over to a place like this. Unfortunately, however, that color fits with the shulker boxes and I guess purple... What, what color wool is this? Okay, magenta. So I could, in theory, do pink for amethyst up there. Yeah, I think I think I might do that. And then the glowing sacks, they are gonna be... I think I'm going to do... I'm, I think I'm going to sell glowing sacks and glowing item frames. So just to have more per shop. So I'm gonna do that and then this can move over there maybe. And then that can move over there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to change some things around here. I forgot I named it the Soul King Shulkers. <laughs> that's... That's like... That... I love that. That's actually hilarious. And that has actually given me a little bit of an idea. Instead of putting the prices like this, I think I'm going to put a sign like this next to it with the price so I don't have to rename items for it. That is going to look, I think, a lot better. Yeah. So King Shulkers. Magenta die and glowing sack. Perfect. Now I just need to change the wall. I didn't bring shears, so this is a little bit of a tedious process. And the colors has been swapped. I don't know what color the netherite should have. I guess technically brown or black would fit, but brown doesn't really fit with this, so I'm probably going to make it black. Now while I might be missing some... Oh dear, yeah, I definitely need a clean day. <laughs> now I might be missing some colored wool that I need, but I know someone who does have it. What am I gonna need? Pink. I think cyan will also be needed. And I think that's the colors that I actually need. Nice to be doing business with you, Ogus. And this time I have shears to make this process go a little bit faster. So netherite is going to be black. I think that suits it well. Glowing sack is going to be cyan. This one is gonna be pink. I'm not sure how this one is going to look, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Nope. Nope. I don't. No, I don't know. Magenta is taken for the shulkers, but I think purple is going to be, fit this a whole lot better. Purple. Thank you. Yeah, I think that is a much better match. The only thing that I don't like about this is that the shopping area is now a lot less bright and colorful when it comes to the tents, at least from above. But now it suits more what it's actually selling. Huh. It's been a while since I've been attacked by those. But anyways, after that assault, when I exit my house after a quick nap, onto this marketplace here, because I have done changes. First of all, I have changed some of the wool back to the more colorful types of wool. I think it's more important that this place looks more inviting and colorful and festive than it looks sad and bland. Yeah, that that's that's what I'm going for here. Also, now I have added signs next to every product that we sell that shows what you can buy for what price. And also I have added glow item frames because it matches with the glowing sack. So yeah, that works. I've also finally figured out what I want to do in this specific booth right here. Also, um, yep. <laughs> We're sold out again. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but it has actually been a while in between the last clip that you saw and this one. In fact, it's been quite a while, considering I now have 170 levels as well. But that is because something happened. We had a little bit of a meeting together. And then you do realize we are literally using iron blocks. <laughs> Listen, it's not me. It, and the just threw them at me it's like they were nothing. <laughs> Why are you doing this with gold blocks anyway? Uh, that's a good point. You've got the big gold farm. It's probably got more gold than I've got in. That's a, that's a good point, yeah. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> that's the ugliest arrow I've ever made. Where exactly it's spawn? <laughs> the arrow's getting worse, by the way. <laughs> it really is. You know what? I'm getting it. No, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. <laughs> this guy is selling my head. Is it? <laughs> Hold on a minute. I need an emerald. Uh, end of our. I'm. I'm just looking at your air balloons, right? Yeah. Oh no. I, I'm sorry. No. No. Are, are they fireproof? <laughs> As in. Uh, no. No. Lightning rods. No. They're not. 
No, no. they're not. No. Oh. Well, there's life on the edge. And if anything happened, I'd blame you. Oh. <laughs> right. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> I've only got to say oops. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, how are you gonna <laughs> get back oh, down? <laughs> you can't get down here with all this stuff. There, there's an alternative. Oh, yeah, come on. I... I hear the jerk. Hold on. <laughs> Did you do that with the salt? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I really didn't see that. Oh, I, I recorded that bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. <laughs> I mean, that's a. Hold on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he blew up the sign! Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, oh, it's it was only batteries, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to pay for it. Nope. No. 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 Nope. Oh. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, Call up. Okay. Thank you. Nope. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. There you have it. Now we didn't just meet up to uh, fall to our deaths and kill gas and have a laugh. We also met up because we wanted to talk about a bunch of projects that we want to do. We have a lot of plans, but I'm not going to explain everything right now. I will be explaining it gradually as we go. Also, there's one issue. I don't have any more fireworks it, it, at all. So I have to walk now. But while I'm not going to talk about all the things that we talked about, I can tell you that we are going to start a project over here by spawn. As you can see, there are four beacons right there, which Endova has already placed down. And that's my lovely, beautiful, great looking arrow. But yeah, we are going to do some changes to this area. So yeah, in the next episode, I will be spending a good chunk of time in this area doing some work. Now speaking about what I'm going to do in the next episode, in the future episodes I want to manage the things I do in the episodes a little bit better. So far I have only been focusing on working on my village area here, you know, the road, the trees, the buildings, etc. But I want to do other things as well, so I'm going to be splitting up the time in the episodes working on different projects. So that can be own projects, it can be mini games, it can be community stuff, things like that, so we get a variety of things done. Now with all this said, I have set up a new booth, and I have called it Amethystified Melted Sand. Yep, I am definitely not running out of name ideas. But yeah, we're basically selling tinted glass, because, well, I have an amethyst farm, I have lots of glass, might as well. So yeah, we actually have all the booths now filled out with some sort of item. I love it. Now I have also in between clips here, dug this all the way down to the bottom here. Oh yeah, can we just talk about how Endova just casually gave me like three beacons? That, th thank you. <laughs> Those will come in handy for sure. But yeah, I've dug this all the way down here. I have removed my beacon for now as I need the space, but I want to start working down here in the mines. But the reason why I've dug this down is because I want to add a rail system that leads down here so I can easily get back and forth. This is going to be where the train station is. Amadon has already built his, so I want to start working on getting mines set up so we can start connecting our tunnels. And in general, I want to improve the look of this place because, uh, yeah, right now it's not looking that great. And I thought that as I don't have any fiber rockets left, I might as well spend a little bit of time down here shining this place up a bit. So, yeah, cue time lapse. Nowhere near done, but this is already a pretty big improvement and 
somewhat of the style that I'm thinking of. Now again, the train station would be over here. I just got to figure out something to do there. I want to do something here. This tunnel obviously needs to get dug out. And I also want to place at least two of my beacons, I think, from Endavar down here. My old one used to be here. I want to make a new spot for it. Maybe have another one like over there in that corner, maybe something like that. As this is the place where I mine Deep Slate as well, because I'm right next to it right here. So having one in that area so I can mine out in that in this vicinity would be ideal, I think. So I want to set that up and I also want to make some kind of super smelter, but again, I need to prepare for that as well. And I have also installed this railway and it is actually working. We can go all the way up at pretty decent speed, faster than I can run it anyway. Whee! And there we go. Of course, I want to change all of this as well so it looks nice and neat, including the whole tunnel. There's a lot to do. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you are excited for the coming episodes because there are a lot in the plans and in the works. A lot of projects that we want to do, so definitely stay tuned. Of which one of them, of course, we will be starting at the very beginning in the next episode. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're brand new, be sure to check out all the other ramblers down below in the description as well. But yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye.